wild than we were at any point Balmy. yesterday. <laughs> but I think we're going <laughs> to remain below freezing. Tomorrow we'll get up near freezing. Right now we're looking up at the Continental Divide. Temperature 12 degrees at the Arapahoe Basin Ski Area. Just a couple of clouds in the sky in the high country. We're going to continue to see some cloud cover increase from the southwest as we go through the course of today, but we're going to call it partly cloudy overall. Right now at City Park, we're at 24. With all the snow that continues to be on the ground around the area. Taking a look here at this temperature drop back on Sunday, we were 69 degrees and then Tuesday morning we dropped to minus three. That was a 72 degree drop in just 40 hours that ranked in the top 20 in terms of temperature drops here in the metro area. Yesterday's high only 13. That's the coldest high temperature ever recorded on the 20th of February. Shattered the old record of 16 way back in 1911. And then this morning we dropped to minus seven. Previous record was minus two. So quite something. That was also the uh, first record low temperature that we've experienced here in 14 months. It's cold everywhere, but it's not frigid like it was yesterday. Lyman's 26. We have 27 up in Sydney, Nebraska right now. 16 in uh, uh, Leadville up there in Lake County. Looking around the country, you want something warmer? The East Coast, the place to be. Look at these temperatures. New York City, 75. D.C., 76. They could come close to 80. There'll be all kinds of records that fall along the East Coast today. Between us and them is a cold front. It has stalled out from the Great Lakes down into North Texas. They're dealing with a lot of rain from Dallas up to Little Rock, Memphis. They're really concerned about flooding in that part of the country. There's so much rain. For us, there's an upper level low out to the west of us. We were talking about that earlier in the show. It's out near Las Vegas right now. And as it moves into Colorado from the southwest, it's going to bring some Pacific moisture up with it. And that's going to be enough to fuel some uh, snow shower activity in the mountains late this afternoon into tonight. We're looking at 9 p.m. on our future cast. Look at all that snow down in the San Juans. It's great to see that snow in that part of the state where we really need it. Snowpack numbers still the lowest there in southwest Colorado. Through tomorrow morning, will be dry for Denver in the Front Range. We will see some snow eventually make its way up towards Summit County tonight. So it's just going to be very little in terms of accumulation. And then late in the day tomorrow, mainly after 4 p.m., we could see a couple of snow showers in the Denver area. If we get snow around here late tomorrow, it's not not going to be much. We're talking less than an inch. In fact, on our snow forecast map, we don't show anything on here because it starts at an inch. Now, further south toward Monument, Palmer Divide, Douglas Elbert counties, you could maybe see a little bit more than that, but without a doubt, the highest snow amounts will be in the southwest part of the state. Winter weather advisory goes up for the Highway 550 corridor and Highway 160 starting at 8 p.m. tonight, continues to 6 p.m. tomorrow, four to eight inches of snow there. So your five-day forecast, 27 today, Britt, tomorrow up to 31, Friday 39. We discussed that chance for a couple of snow showers late in the day tomorrow. Late Friday, there could be a few flurries. And then for the weekend, it'll be sunny, but it's going to be cool. Highs in the lower <laughs> 40s. Still, that's going to seem like a heat wave compared to what we've experienced recently. Yeah, no kidding. I'm just glad we're in the double digits. Yeah. <laughs> no more single digits. It's nice to have two numbers on there instead of just one. I'm with you there. <laughs> exactly. Ashton, thank right. you so much. Now, coming up.